Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Astro Circuit Season 4, midweek number 1. Round 2 matchup between Ugly Doss and Royal. We've got Domination Octane as our first map for the Doss team. you got Boss of Everything. Mental, Paranoia, Bakabek, and for Royal, you got Riddy, Fate, Yelza, and Varenzen. I believe I am in here solo for me, possibly. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay, there you go. Finally in here. I'm not too sure if you're in the game, Fizz. But regardless, that's Fizz. I'm Mike Star. And this is round two of the Astro Circuit, brought to you by Cybergamer, powered by Astro. Good to see a little downtime in between these two series here, as we are going to be seeing a boss of everything actually on top of a pawn right here. As he gets a nice double kill to be able to just push on forward now to this B flag. Trying to get the third, unfortunately, won't be able to do it. And you're going to be seeing his team now just trying to make something happen. Now, overall, it's it's 13 to 7. They've got a nice early advantage. And they're trying to get this B flag, but, you know, they haven't really gotten... It, it's still early days. I mean, it's only been a minute past. Anything can still happen. Indeed it can. But at the moment, I'm going to stay on board with the guys of... I'm not even sure who's playing. But, Ugly Doss. Uh, there you go. I'll, I'll do mental and co is what I'm going to call from now on. I'm guessing they're playing Royal because I, I, don't, I don't know Royal fairly well. But I'm going to stand on board because I haven't really got much choice. I'm going to go on board with who looks interesting at the moment. You know, mental. He's got a Remington and he's got a thermal on that Remington. So, it's actually, a wow. hybrid scope. Just saying. That's, that's, that's a little bit odd. I don't know if you've seen that. That's why, that's why Fate's got a three piece. He's got a triple because they all just barged up and be flying. Well, you know, I mean, if you if you your strength in numbers, I guess, would be the appropriate saying for that. Unfortunately, it just didn't work that time. But what can you do is they're going to be actually trying to secure this B flag, and unfortunately, Yelza just won't be able to do it. Fate's going to be going in there to try and get this one. No, he won't actually. Oh, really? be, he's on the outside trying to get a couple of shots on him. Now he's trying to get a nice three down there from the Royal team. Now, of course, for those who missed it, paranoia, mental boss of everything, and a back and back for the. Ugly Doss side, and for Roy, it's really Fates, Varenzen, and Yells. I believe Roy are using a fill in in the case of Varenzen, but uh, once again, I'm not 100% sure. It's a nice double kill in the making Ooh, from Yelza. And uh, they, oh, there we go. Go on, son. Just setting it up nice and easy. This looks like it's going to be Brisbane land all over again. Shock's picked up the four piece. Yells are going huge at the moment. He's trying to find kills. He picks up now and really picks up two as well. Kill feed at the moment, all in favor of Royal. This is looking fairly one sided, but the scores are saying different stories. 37 33 at the moment. I mean, yeah, you're going to be seeing actually both these teams trying to trying to make something happen over on this A flag to, to try and secure this one. But Royal seems to be the one in the upper hand as they should be able to secure this. And now look at that a triple cap for them. Yells actually runs out of ammo. He's going to pick up the vector. And uh, the get taken down is not going to be too useful there for that one. But I mean, 49 points to 35, two minutes on the clock, still in the first half, and it's been a great start to the Royal team. It has indeed. Look at the difference at the moment. And it's only 14 points, but extending fairly quick. About at the moment, you know, it's only one flag apiece. The middle flag is currently neutral. Yells is in position to try and grab that. He knows the player around the bus. He's going to try and spot the player. He's not going to move. So. Fate now looking to try and clean some players up, helping get on that flag at the moment, but it's not going to be the case. And now you see Yelza jump on the B flag. You're going to be seeing Yelza try and actually capture that B flag. He's got his teammate placing trophies behind him, and they should be able to go ahead and capture that one. There we go. 90 seconds still remaining in the first half. You've got Varenza just trying to duck and cover. Three bullets. He will be able to go away successfully. And his teammate will actually be able to pick off a kill there as Fate will be able to take down one. Riddy gets a nice Riddy. double. Boss of everything was actually the last one alive over on that bus depot. He's got the thermal on his scope as well. And he's going to push on down, but he gets knifed in the back. Back and back and Fate over on that bus depot controlling it 100%. But unfortunately, they, they're they trying to make just keep that B flag. I mean, they don't really need to push anymore because they, they have majority flags. They've got the lead. I mean, look at that. 68 points. Now 70 to 48. And there's 50 seconds remaining in the half. So sitting down with two flags compared to one is definitely a nice... I guess a relaxing way to spend your domination on Octane. It is. I'm just noticing how many potatoes have been thrown at the moment. Everyone's got Semtex on the class, and it's just interesting to see how If you could get a counter that tells you how many Semtex were thrown during the, the duration of this match, that'd be actually kind of nice. I would like that a bit. Because if Ren's on his own, he's throwing at least a dozen. I'm just saying. But people moment, people like their explosives. I mean, there's nothing wrong with explosives. People like them, and uh, I guess they're within their right to do so. It's been, it's not, and it's not just explosive ones either. I mean, they're also using, of course, the tactical grenades in addition to that. And, and only 12 seconds remaining in the half. Uh, 
And no, there is trophy systems. Uh, and, yeah, yeah. yeah, not everyone's using grenades and tactical things. Yeah, yeah no, I mean, Varenza is one out. of the people who, do, who does run trophy systems in his class. I mean, well. Technically, a trophy system is kind of an explosive because it sort of detonates. It could kill you as well, yep. It, it, sort it, of, it detonates. Comes the, with the safety the warning, right, yeah. no warranty. But uh, no yeah, guarantees yeah, either. No, point this way, that's what it should say on it. Pretty much, but that's going to be the first half wrapped up right now. Over on a 84 to 61 scoreline in favour of the Royal team. And, you know, coming to this, of course, they've had their recent roster changes as well. Picking up fate. And, you know, we, we've seen that it seems to be working so far for them. But, you know, we still have a second half to go. Five minutes is plenty of time to catch back up if they really put their minds to it. This player's going over on this B flag early. Fate with that verbal is just able to mow kids down. And it just get them off his territory. He's, he's, he's just marking it down. Yeah, I'm tempted to go on board with the guys of Royal, but I spent the last half of them on them on board with them. But you know, it's hard not to. They're just decimating everyone. But possibly, I think picking up national TPC on the B flag. Going, he was going to capture. It, changed his mind. He had to reload. He needed to think about this. And now he's just setting up to see if he can stop anyone from pushing too far in towards the B flag. He doesn't realize there's people going to be behind. He's just bought one player though, and that's going to be for Renzing getting shut down. So good players there from Boss. Yeah, actually going to be seeing, trying to get shots on fate, and we'll be able to actually pick that one off. Now, there's no one on the B flag yet, but he goes on it. Unfortunately, gets taken down shortly after. Paranoia will get dropped. <laughs> Mental trying to go Team on fight. it, and Mental's dead as well. Back and back. Duh, he's dead. Oh, Riddy. No, it's all about Riddy. <laughs> he's dead. Boss of everything could have capped that flag, but uh, Paranoia actually team killed him, so. Well, if, no. if you can't kill the opposing team, why not just kill your own team? It's, it, it doesn't count on the overall you know, scoreboard, but you, you know it in, in your mind that it counts. Yeah, you know, you got, you got a secret kill that no one has any snow about. Exactly. But of course, we've seen it on the stream, so yeah. Oh, back of it, he's got melted. <laughs> For Renson, just turned around, jumped the bin, picked up a nice little two piece. They're sitting down on mental as well. So, you know, Renson, honestly, the scoreboard looks like at the moment you're seeing 19, oh. 12 from yours of Renson 16 oh. and 13. So, you know, some big kills going out from those two guys. Every player I've jumped on board with in the last 20 seconds has died. And that's unfortunate that's for the, me. That's the coast, coast coming now in. everyone that seems to be jumping on board with his capping flags, is definitely a positive sign compared to people dying. But Riddy and Yelza will take out kills. Back and back takes that one. He backs back off and now looks over into Pawn. And you're going to be seeing his team just trying to set up still with, of course, them holding that two-flag advantage. Finally being able to get a hold of something. But with the scoreline being 114-1 one now, 115 to 87. Three minutes on the clock. One does need to ask, is it too late? Uh, you know, I think it is. But then again, you know, the difference isn't that much. It, it can be definitely dealt. But I just noticed Ren's in there saying, I was running down the bottom of the strip club, make it out of there. You're too young for that. We all know this. But now you see three cap possibility going in. No, he's going to be controlled there from the team of Ugly Doss. Now he's going to be getting controlled again. Royals are going to try, it was fate rather, trying to pick up that one there, trying to get a three cap in their favor. Well, sorry, a one cap. They're currently being two, three caps or two caps. No, oh, the knife there from fate. Just being able to pick off with that kill, defend that C flag. Unfortunately, it's not enough to get them the the overall lead in terms of flag possession, but they still have the lead in terms of points. That's 122 to 123 to 106. The score is catching up, and they have enough time, of course, to catch back up if they really wanted to. The ugly does side. They just need to hold what they currently have set up at the moment. And from the way they're playing, I know they're dropping numbers left to right, but that player that's going to be in the center of the rest of that saying should be able to just hold things off and maybe be able to take them back in. You see the scoreline, it's closing, and it's just really putting them on the map right here in terms of this this domination on Octane. One minute 40 remaining, and they're nearly there. They've nearly done a level point game at the moment, and back of X forcing pressure over into this board. Paranoia gets knifed, and they still have that beat like. And you're about to lose your voice if you don't calm down a little bit there, Mike. But anyways, moving on, we have... Look at the scoreboard right now. That's what I'm seeing is absolutely domination there from the guys of Royal, but they just can't get the caps on the board at the moment. You see, they're outslaying them, killed this wise. They're getting outslayed, the guys of Ugly Doss, but the caps on the board, the score's telling it all. It's an interesting one, this one. See, you, see, you know, you, you say outslayed, but you know, you, you notice Mentor, he's got 25 kills to 20. Then you go across, the other players going, might be going a little bit of neg, but they're going 19 and 23, you know, 19 and 18, 17 and 23. Yeah. They're getting those but kills. Then, of course, the opposing team does have more. I do yeah. see your point, 24, 22, 20, and 16. But when you add it all together, I mean, it's an objective game type. You need the objective to be able to take something out. And I mean, Royals do, do, still do have the lead, and they've got those two flags at the moment. They're trying to get A, but they are losing B. You've got to play 
is rotating back over. He's being able to get one. He's getting tags on the second, but Fate won't be able to clean that one up. The nade's going to be going in. They've lost B flag once again. C flag is neutralized. So it's still 1 1 at the moment with 30 seconds left. This is going down to the wire. Five point game at the moment. Shots going out over on the strip truck. As you do see, Ooh, Fate picking up another. Verenzen will get one. Double cap here on this B flag. And this could have, that last play could have just won them the map That's here. As you do see terrible. them, and I mean, for seven point game, 10 seconds yeah, remaining. It's, it's not possible now. What a map one. You'd need three caps, and you'd need 10 seconds on the board to catch up, and it's just, it's not possible. Actually, you'd need 15 seconds. It's one point per flag per five seconds, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, you'd need 15 seconds to catch up. It wasn't possible. It was close. I'll give them that. It was close. Nine points in the end. But Royal, you know, they slowed down a little bit and then caught back up in the end. Yeah, slowed down is definitely an understatement. They have <laughs> the lead coming into the second half and they Stop just... throwing potatoes. They, they, they just literally just, just stopped playing the game that they were playing in that first half and they came into the second half. Okay, yeah, we got this. Maybe a little bit too confident. And then they just... You know, just sort of dropped off the, lap, the map a little bit. But they came back, which is good to see. They took out map number one. They're now going to be up one to nothing in the series. And uh, it's actually going to be Octane up next for the S&D. So we're going to be seeing that played out once again. We don't need to... We're, gonna, we're, we're used to the environment right here. But on an S&D side of things, will Royal take out the map? Or will Ugly Dust come back to make something happen? We'll take a short break. Well, we wait for it to start on up, so don't go anywhere because we've got more action coming up next. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for map number two here in the Astro Circuit, midweek one for season four. Brought to you by Subgamer, powered by Astro. It was a nice save there by me. I'm Meister, joined by Fizz. It's 1-0 to Royal. We've got SD Octane and the Fizz. Before we actually get into this map, I just want to point out something so far right now. We have 32 teams signed up for the original midweek, which is, of course, our first time running a 32 <laughs> midweek 
uh, 32 team midweek bracket first time it's it seems to be good so far but we su we started with 32 teams we're already on round two so that means we've we've already knocked out 16 teams we're down we've we've got the top 16 now and after this round of course we're knocking down even further but yeah, i mean single limbs man that, you, you, you gotta keep winning you, you you can't miss a beat yeah well, of course this is one done so each round you're gonna be half the teams that are left so top 16 top eight top four top two and of course then the finals or well, top two is gonna be the finals and then of course the winner so you know but yeah let's get on topic of the game world's got three down so Renz is the last one live the one i'm really going to be interested in watching is going to be back back because he's got an lmg with them I have to disagree with you hey. on there because I, I hey, want to jump on board with Redson because he's the last one alive in a 1v3 no. situation. I mean, you, you got to watch the clutch factor oh, he's here. Got sniper. He's got a sniper. It's okay. Yeah, he's, he's, got a, he's got a sniper, but he, he's got the clutch factor. I mean, the clutch factor is what you want to go for because if you miss it, I mean, you're just going to get hated yeah, on. You've got to think too. He's got to be nervous. He's in a 3v1 against Mental and Bakabek. These two guys are absolutely outstanding at this game so but he's 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 got a, he's got the oh, same stats as his opposition i mean they're, oh, they're all going one for nothing they know where he is though he's going to poke on down and get yeah, taken down no, no, he deserved that he should not push that was it was a butterfinger shot he missed it was a pretty easy shot he had plenty of time to hit it he missed it so butterfingers and then he pushed it after he hit by a nade so very questionable but uh back of it cleaned it up maybe we're going to see that happen in the next round. Who knows? It is going to be them on the attack. So I'm actually going to jump aboard with him up first for this round because you seem to love him so much. He's still going to be rocking that same class setup. He's going to actually pick up the bomb as well. That's going to be extra handy for me. But actually, we have a couple of players getting stunned there. He's still going to be able to cross them. No worries. You're going to be sitting there on the on the map and on Oracle mode where those players are located. One's well, actually going to be on that back gas side for Roy, and the other two have actually pushed on up. And this is going to be very interesting because you, you notice that normally players, when they check, the, if they check there, they can call it out. If they haven't seen a the player, they could maybe think okay they're going somewhere else but they have definitely seen someone because you just see you just see the little arrows sort of just moving up and down uh, left and right and you know that they've seen someone they're just waiting for something to happen and it's really now up to up to the ugly dust team to to try and sort of counteract this yeah well i've got two things to point out one back of back's actually playing as a female character so you know cute but the second one is you lied to me you said he was using the same class and he's got a vector on okay maybe he started off with that. maybe he changed it i don't know no, no i changed it and he was still using a vector so you disappointed me at but the beginning of the round i mean it's a yeah. 2v4 situation royals got four players mentals found one and he's just being a bit of a cheeky bug he picks up one sees a second picks up tags with the pistol across the map if he had picked that kill up i probably would have screamed let's be honest 2v3 situation though, he's still got the bomb in hand, he's actually going to be going for this bomb player, there's no one there to contest him, and his teammate will actually be able to pick off one kill, Mental being able to pick off one, as you do see now, I don't know why I have the names hidden, but you know, you Mental run there, he He's got three kills using a pistol so far, and, and Faye's going to pick up Mental, so shutting him down, he's now back and back in a 1v1, I'm sorry, that was funny. It's going to be back back as you mentioned, taking on fate in that 1v1 situation. Back back's just going to be trying to look somewhere, but he's a mic extra in the back. Will it be COD timing? Will it not be COD timing? I believe we did see him there. There you no, go. Just waiting for it. He was able it's to... It's COD timing for fate. It was for fate. I mean, for back back though, because he was looking in the other direction. He looked back. He saw the player poke, and he's like, okay, you know what? I, I, I'm going to keep waiting for this guy. He's going to try and poke both quarters. And unfortunately, I mean, in that situation, normally players actually check the right angle first when they poke in and out, because you've got the left side ha having a little bit of those boxes in the way. So, you know, just a fun fact to point out that what, I, know, what I, I see a lot of players normally do in that, in that situation, unfortunately, just looked in the wrong way. But we actually do have Riddy and Yelza actually both going 0 and 2 at the moment. It is a 2 0 scoreline to the team of Riddy Ugly Dos. And scopes out. Who has a scope? I want to jump on Oh, scope it's ready in for Renzen for scopes. And I believe Mental's going to have a scope as well as he has the last two rounds. Let's check that out. He's going to be in a, one, a 2v4 situation once again. You know, the, is it, it's not now 1v4. Okay. He's it, sort of in a bad situation. He's got a scope. In, oh, no, he swapped his class to a uh, Remington now. So yeah, he's in a, a semi bad position. He's got Remington. He's got he's got the uh, ability to pick up players. And Ooh. there's going to be a player down there. Not with that. Semtex, not going to pick it up though. Not with that accuracy, he won't. Did have that shot lined up, and he just sort of hit it and missed, and there we go, gets taken down. To... I think Riddy was looking for revenge. I mean, if his team wanted to sort of just pull a little perk on him, I guess they could blame him for losing that round. 1v3, I mean, he says he can clutch everything, and he just unfortunately can't. But, yeah, then again, he can lift, but he who can't knows? Clutch. Possibly. We still have Yozo on a 0 and 2. You got a 0 and a 3 for boss of everything. The donut store is likely going you into business what? soon. Let's be bullies and go on board with him. Okay. I, I provide good luck. He's, he's got to get a kill. He, he, you know, 
it's going to happen eventually, maybe, possibly. We can't see Boss of Everything drop a donut. That would be just disappointing. We'll see what happens, though, with the bomb being picked up by Backer Beck. He's just going to be really just sitting back and waiting here. Mental's being able to pick off kill over on that gas tank. And you are going to be seeing Boss of Everything over on that top mech side. He's just checking this A-bomb. He's waiting for his teammate to be able to loop back over to it. And you notice the Royal players, though, I want to point out, Fizz, they're actually just adapting to it. One's wrapping around through the back of the club. The other one's over in the motel side. The other one's over in the diner. So they're sort of setting up to try and box them Boston, and slowly really push off forward to the end just watching Boston Riddy at the moment. Bullet's going out. Riddy knows oh, he's there. Yeah. He's him up through the wall. That Hold was on. actually really nicely played there by them. But Fizz, 3v2. Bomb is down. Make that a 2v2. Can they do it? Yeah, it's in the hands of Royal here. They get two kills. Or even one kill and try and get the ninja to fuse. At the moment, it's looking very tough. As you see, Riddy now in a 1v2 mental and back to back. There's two players you want a life for this team is coming mental and back effect. So, you know, he's 12 seconds left. He's in a very tough situation. He's going to have to go for the diffuse here. Mental's just checked the bomb. He's just looped around. He's going to go back and see if he can. He's been called out. No. He, no, you had to expect. He got called out. Yeah, unfortunately, he just Great wasn't cops. able. He, he just wasn't able to do it. I mean, it, you can't blame the guy for that. But, I mean, what can you do? Look, at, look at that round in the kill cam. I mean, just look at that. Yeah, yeah. Well... He wasn't in a very strong situation. Both of the players weren't in a very good situation from the start. That the bomb was down, time was ticking away. They had to make moves, and unfortunately, Royal just couldn't come out the win. But you see, the guys of Ugly Dos are currently three one up, so we couldn't be seeing our first blitz of the night coming up next. Considering it's only round two, I mean, you know, you're making pretty good work if you can see a blitz game in those early rounds. You definitely don't want to be seeing two nils the whole way through, but we'll see what happens. As you got Yozel with the bomb going over to this B bomb side, he's going to be wanting to try and make something happen. Of course, we can see where the players are located with Oracle Moon turned on for you now. As you do see him just going to be checking upstairs before he makes anything happen. We've got a couple kills trading for both of these kit teams. So you got Varenza getting dropped. Bakabek also getting dropped earlier on in the game. So it's 3v3 situation. Riddy, yours in fate. Taking on Mental, Paranoia, and the boss of everything. Bomb still in the hands of Yoza. So he needs to make something happen. Players are watching him. They'll take him down. And you can definitely see so far with this 3-1 scoreline at the moment. Plus the, the fact just the way this round so far turned out. That it, it, it is sort of interesting to see how, how teams are different over on these S&D and Respawn game types in between them. Yeah, at the moment, I'm just looking at Riddy. As he is the last one alive now for Royal, he has to make something happen. I've just noticed how he's been a bit of a class whore. He's been swapping between classes each and every round. Fourth round in, fourth class. He's changed to him. Perry is going to clean up the scope, shutting him down. Four to one to his score. In a 1v2 situation, you can't really expect much less. Unfortunately, I mean, you, you really can't. You're going to be seeing them right now with the scope paranoia being able to pick off that kill there. And you, you look at the overall stats as well. You got for Royal Riddy, you know, Riddy 4 4, 1 and 4 there for Yolza, but he's got one plan to his name. You got 3 and 4 then for Fate and Varenza. You know, not too bad for them, just haven't been really able to pick off those rounds. Then you got for the Ugly Dust side, back and back 4 and 2, 7 and 2 for Mental, Paranoia and 4 and 3, then 1 and 4 for Boss and everything. But, I mean, you're going to be seeing. Five. You're going to be seeing. Boss and everything now. Yeah, drop that one and five, get taken down early, and force the uh, DOS side to actually rotate back over and maybe try to, instead of going over for A once again, rotate over to this B bomb and make something happen from there. You got Mental actually looking over with the scope, and he does want to see someone, but unfortunately, just not looking in all the right places. At the moment, in 3v2, is going for the team of Ugly DOS against Royal Royal. You got Riddy there jumping up one now in a 1v3 situation, so Mental, the last one alive, he's got a scope and pistol in hand. There's actually going to be a player pushing around behind him. He needs to be aware of this. Actually, I'm just realizing no one actually picked up the bomb. They've played this a minute of this round and no one picked up the bomb. And shame on us for not realizing earlier, as you do have. Oh, not really. It's. it's not really shame well, on us. Shame on you. Shame on you. I'm just going to put that out there. Eight to two though for Mental, and he does see one, I believe. And now he does. He tries oh. to get a couple of shots off, but he's going to get shot on the side. He didn't see the other player there on the truck, and that's going to be the second round to the Royal side. Now you keep in mind it is four two, but it is one up in favor of Royal. So you know when we're on the S and D, it is map two for those just tuning in recently for the Astro Circuit. It's not Blitz as second anymore. It's going to be S and D on second. So that means that if Ugly does take it out, we'll be seeing our first Blitz of the night, and that'll even you know that'll, that'll be the scores one one 
going into that. But if Raw somehow managed to come back in this 4-2 deficit that they find themselves in, they'll be able to take out the series in 2, in two to nothing. And that will definitely be interesting to see. Scopes out coming out early, though, from the Ugly Dos side. As they're trying oh, to get the crossover, unfortunately, just, they just weren't able to. He was so unfortunate. If he had left that first play go, he would have got the second play, no doubt. But unfortunately, not able to pick up the kill in a 4v4 situation still for both teams here. I just want to point out, though, before this round started, it was 4-1. So you can sort of say it's one side. Now it's 4-2. It's kind of evened out again. So you can see how getting one round can definitely bring a lot of momentum back into this game. Let's see if they'll be able to keep something going for themselves, though. Still no one to die so far in the round as yours actually uses the smoke as cover to push on forward to this bomb side. The players are going to be checking, though. He's going to be hoping that he has some form of incog. He's actually going to be going straight to the dumpster right in front of it now. And you can see with Oracle Mode, those players really are fairly close to him. And he needs to play his cards right. Of course, the opposing team has dropped one player to their side there. And there we go. Fate will take down another one. Take that back. Check your corners, mate. Oh, he's missed a scope. There's actually a player sitting right beside him. He needs to be aware oh. of this. He's shot. He's being tagged as a player there. Here he goes. He's going to be pushing around now. Oh! Oh! Boss of everything. Being able to he pick was, off uh, the, the scope. I mean... Uh, I was actually on board with Boss's perspective there, and you, and you see it there, just bam, one shot was all it took for fate, but, I mean, he still that's got the snipe the kill, he, he got the snipe kill to get off the breadstick, and I mean, that's the important part. And Yells are still sitting on that breadstick, one and six, he needs to make something happen, but as you've seen before, it was two to four, before that was one and four, now it's three and four, so momentum swing has changed, three or two straight rounds there for the guys of Royal Mental and Co, or Ugly Doss, so it is a get the momentum back in their behalf and see if they can close this one out. See, with Bakabek on the bomb carry duty, see what he'll be able to do with Mental actually just watching over this crossover. He knows there's going to be one there somewhere. I believe he doesn't know where he is, but that player is hidden from view at the moment. Boss of everything. Trying to just look over into that top hotel area. Now, there is actually one player from the opposing team there. That's going to be Yelza over in storage. Now... I'm just sticking on board with him for a little bit. I know on the defensive round, but he's actually in a really good position to make something happen there if those players do decide to push on up. But of course, he's checking both his angles. And normally you don't see that happen. Normally you just see them more trying to watch one side and maybe get his teammates to cover more from the other angle. But he's now relying on himself. And I mean, he turns away at all the good moments when the opposing team pushes up it's on, on the base. Terrible it's, it's just Exactly. Cod timing is what it is. And Oh, uh, he's turning away again. Yeah. Is he going to find this player? It's going to be a contest here in a second. Is it going to be? It is. And it's going to be a scope. It's going to be mental pick up the kill on Yelza. Still on the breadstick. 1 and 7. 2v3 situation. The bomb has to get put down here. And back back evens it up. Now on a 2v2 situation. Down goes the bomb in favor of back back. Is he going to be a planet? Yeah, he is indeed. I, I just now, want to point out, from, from, from Riddy's perspective, sorry to cut you off, from Riddy's perspective and with Orca Mode, he was aiming exactly where it needed to, but it, it, the, there was just no wall bangs, but he was aiming exactly where he would have been if he was planting. So I, I, I just got to point Riddy that out. Riddy is in a bad position. Actually, no, he's not. He's in a perfect position to pick up this play. He needs to turn around. The oh. players actually just jumped out. We know there's going to be a contest here in a minute. And there it is. He had to pick that off. Almost going to get the fuse. Lorenzo's going to be on the bomb. Yeah, that, that was very good for, the, for both of them. They, they played that one perfectly. You saw Riddy, as I mentioned, he, he knew exactly where that bomb planet would have been planting anyway. Wasn't able to, of course, get the wall bank. He then rotated around, ran into Motel, did the exact same play that the opposing player did. So he knew exactly what, it, what if he was in that position, what he'd do. He followed through with it. He picked up the kill. His team's able to get the round. And look at this round count. It's 4-4. Four, four. From, that, from that 4-1 scoreline, you know that you said it was sort of one side. Now it's even back up. Now what are your thoughts? That's what I was saying. It all takes is one round to sort of swing the momentum back in your favor and take it from one-sided to even. And as we've seen, three straight rounds there from Royal, this is possibly going to be a 2-0. However, I don't know about you, Mike, but I definitely want to see a blitz. I definitely do, so, but Royal, I mean, if they come back from this, they've definitely earned it. And, uh, I mean, I'm not going to take that away from them. Oh, the others off the breadstick. That's a surprise. <laughs> I'm not too sure if it's a surprise, but, you know, it's definitely, oh, you it's know, definitely a great seven. thing. One in seven. Got a kill. But, but you know, you've got, got, to keep, got to keep in mind, both teams do have a 2 and 8 player. I mean, that is Yelza for Royal, boss of everything for Ugly Doss. I mean, he's got, that's going to count for something. As you have Riddy actually circling around, he does have a couple of players. He's going to get a couple of shots in on one, and he's going to need a, he's going to be forced to actually pull back in. You notice from the, where the mini-map are from the rest of the players are, he's waiting for someone on the flank, but uh, alternatively, all the other players are right in front of him, and if he pushed up a little bit more, he would have been able to see that. Of course, he was trying to go for the kill that he did see on his screen at that current time. Now, just still trying to just play a little bit slow. 3v3 situation, slow, especially on their attack, is something that they can't really afford at the moment. 
And Varen's going to find a play. He's not going to be able to pick up the kill, though. He's really cleans him on up. There's going to be a 2v2 situation. There goes a potato from Varen. Something I've been waiting for all game. It's actually a smoke grenade as he goes to plant that bomb. There's going to be a player behind him. He needs to check his coins. He's going to get taken down now. 1v2 for Riddy. Riddy, of course, got the vector in hand. Now looking to make something happen. 1v1 mental and Riddy. The last two alive, and looks like Mantle's going to go straight for that bomb. He needs to get a wall bang going on here or something. He's going to get either fuse. Oh, can he get it in time? He's it. Oh, he's got it. No, he hasn't. Riddy really shut me down. Okay. That was the closest it could have been. You, you got me excited for no reason now. I thought he was actually going to get... Because I, I was on board with Riddy's perspective that whole time. So I was just seeing him... I was like seeing him with Orkamo just... Will he poke? Will he poke? Will he not poke? Will he poke? Will he not poke? Not, and then he decided to poke it. You, you're like, you got the defuse. And I'm like, was laying there, yeah. not moving. You would assume defusing the bomb. Maybe he just delayed it for a second or two. Possibly, or maybe he was just definitely on the buzzer beater. But look at this. Roy have taken the lead. And they... That, yeah, that's that's it. They're taking the lead, and they're now on match point. Not even just you know, not even map point. They're on match point right now. If they take out one more round out of the next two available to them, but back and back trying to start things off strong, and he won't be able to. He wasn't able to actually pick off with that kill, and he does get taken. Now that means bomb is down in a very very awkward position. On board of Renzo's. He did pick up the first blood there. Back to back is the play that did drop, as you mentioned before. Eleven and five, ready. Six and five for Renzo. Nine and six for Fate. Yelza, what are you doing, mate? Come on. Pick up the game. Anyway, back on board. It's now a 2v3 situation. You see Mental and Paranoia last two alive. And Paranoia is looking to make something happen as well. You, these two players are bunched up very close. All takes is one world place. Another shot. Take them both down. And it's not something we want to see. As down oh. goes Mental now. 1v3 situation. Paranoia it looks very dim. And that's going to close us out. It's actually close out in the match. Yeah, I mean, you were calling a blitz from the get-go of this S&D. You stood tall to that for the sure. remainder of the match. And... I, I no guess they just really, they really wanted to prove you wrong because I, I, I told you, I told you when they when right. they were pushing over to the A bomb. You know, if they if they earn the comeback, they definitely can't take it away from them. And you do, they they want their momentum. Honest, that was five straight rounds from Royal. They earned that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they they started their momentum and they just kept it going. Look at that twelve and six for Riddy there on your screens. You had a seven and five for Varenzen, Fate on 9 and 6, and then a 3 and 8 for Yelza. But for the opposing team, Mental was rocking the 9 and 7, and he had 7 kills for both Bakabek and Paranoia, and boss of everything on 2 and 9. But that's going to be it for that match as well. So for our first two matches, they've both been 2 nils. But we've got our next round going to be starting up next, and I'm not too sure exactly which match it will be at the moment. I'm hoping for possibly a Trident versus the winner of Team Dawn and Avant. Who knows? Stay tuned, though. We'll take a short break, and we'll be back with you soon. 